In this video, I have prepared some must-have new mods that will transform your commonwealth in an innovative way. Let's start with a gameplay-related mod called Very Zen Impacts Mod. Very Zen Impacts Mod is an audio mod that makes the gunfights in Fallout 4 more intense and realistic. This mod changes the sound of bullets firing and hitting the targets to be louder and clearer. If you are not satisfied with the original sound of the guns and wanted to improve it, this mod will be helpful for you. Next up is Enhanced Creatures AI Overhaul. This mod modifies the AI of the animals in the Commonwealth and adds new combat behaviors. The changes include individual and group behaviors. The goal of this mod is to make the animals stronger in combat without altering their base stats. This way, they won't look like bullet sponges or die in one shot. The behavior changes are implemented through scripts, and the mod is designed to be as non-intrusive as possible to avoid compatibility issues with other mods. The creator also promises to improve the mod through regular updates, so this mod is worth paying attention to. Next up is Subway Runner Revised. This mod is an improved version of the Subway Runner mod. This mod connects most of the existing subway stations and creates a subway tunnel network filled with various enemies. It also changes the location, lighting, fog, buildings, etc. of the subway stations, adds new subway stations, and increases the connectivity with other places. This mod focuses on the survival mode, making it easier to find a place to sleep and allowing you to travel quickly through the ruins using the subway network. However, you will have to fight a lot to explore and secure the subway network. This mod applies Navmesh to all maps, so you can use it with your companions. In this corner, I'm going to introduce you to some weapon mods that you might be interested in. There are some rifles, add-ons, and pistol mods. First up is BH PPSH-41 Submachine Gun. This mod adds the Soviet World War II era submachine gun PPSH-41 to Fallout 4. It has custom first-person and third-person animations, and NPCs can also use this submachine gun. It also has custom models, textures, and sounds. But be careful as the gun sound can be quite loud. It supports tactical reload and side-aim framework. Moreover, this gun uses a new ammo type, 7.62 25mm Tokarev, and offers 20 scope options, 14 muzzle options, 8 laser light attachment options, and 6 material modification options. You can also adjust the damage as you wish. Next up is FN57 MK2. This pistol has custom animations for first-person and third-person views, and it is compatible with the tactical reload patch. FN57 MK2 is a semi-automatic pistol made by FN Herstal in Belgium, and it has the ability to penetrate body armor, shields, walls, and other obstacles. However, in this game, it cannot penetrate walls. Just keep in mind that this pistol can be crafted at the chem lab and you can also make 5.7mm ammo there. Next up is FNF2000. This gun has a similar appearance to FAMAS, but the design of the sight and grip is quite unique, resembling a whale. Of course, you can modify the sight and grip parts to change the design, but I personally think that the basic design of this gun is rather its strongest charm, so I recommend that you only modify the color and use it. I personally like the green color. Like other rifles, it supports tactical reload, and it also supports auto beam, casing framework, and Robco patcher, so you can refer to them when using it. Next up is the Jayat Famous FB add-on. This is an add-on mod for the Famous rifle, which many of you love to use. It expands the customization options, adding a total of 40 modules, including a flashlight modification that was not in the original mod. The new laser also supports auto beam, which is very cool. Moreover, the black FDE customization is applied to the new items, so you can mix and match the color sets as you like. This mod is great news for the players who have been using the Famous regularly. Next up is the Modern Warfare 2022 Staccato Pistol Mod. This mod adds the pistol from Modern Warfare to the game. It offers various attachments, sounds, first-person and third-person animations, and a patch that is compatible with the Tactical Reload mod. The pistol has a colorful pattern and design, and the first-person animation seems to be custom-made, so I felt a quite new sensation while using it. The sound and animation are pretty good, so I think you will like it too. Next up is European Sniper Rifle Commonwealth Weaponry Expansion. 
This mod adds a bolt-action sniper rifle based on the real-life French FR2 series. It features high-quality textures and models, various attachments, right-hand animations, custom sound effects, and more. This weapon can be found on Raiders' snipers and in shops after level 15. There are also two unique weapons. One is at the lighthouse south of the Northern Star Wreck, and the other is at the top of Saugus Ironworks. This sniper rifle has a very excellent design with a wooden stock and a black barrel, and I highly recommend it to you. If you like it, please try it out. And please subscribe to the YouTube channel run by the creator, Degenerate Dac. It will be a great help to him. In this corner, I will introduce you to some outfit mods. First, there is Combat Armor Remodel. This mod redesigns the vanilla combat armor with no ESP, and changes the helmet, heavy armor, and medium armor. It also modifies the female armor model. Despite being a vanilla outfit, this mod gives it a quality that is not inferior to modern outfits, so I recommend it to you. Then, there is Chen Outfit, which adds an outfit like the one in the video. It is not very lore-friendly, but if you use a character that suits this outfit, you can enjoy it satisfactorily. Moreover, there is Chernobyl Suit, which adds a rather lore-friendly Chernobyl Radiation Suit to the game. This mod can be found at the Chemistry Workbench, and it is an outfit for male characters. The texture is also quite good, so I introduced it to you, hoping that you will like it. In this corner, I will introduce you to some visual mods. First, Nemesis Replace Deathclaw. This mod replaces the Deathclaws with the second form of Nemesis from Resident Evil 3 Remake. This mod adjusts the size and strength of Nemesis to make him bigger and stronger. For example, Nemesis hits two to three times harder and is 30% larger than a normal Deathclaw. Also, there are some variants. For example, Black Nemesis is smaller than other variants, but 1.7 times faster and 30 per 40% stronger. Try this mod to experience the Nemesis creature. Next up is Lush Vanilla Grass. This mod replaces the vanilla grass models with high quality ones and adds new grass models. This mod uses vanilla textures, so it is compatible with other grass texture mods. This mod adjusts the density and height of the grass to minimize clipping issues and makes sure that the grass only appears where it naturally grows. This mod makes the environment of Fallout 4 more lush and lively. That's it for the showcase video of the must-have new Fallout 4 mods. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you did, please subscribe, like, and turn on the notifications. Then I'll see you in the next video.